this is my uh, discussion topic on cancer. This is over brain cancer. So, brain cancer, of course, affects the brain. Um, but it also can affect the spinal cord and the central nervous system. Because uh, they're all considered part of the brain system. Um, there's two types of cancers, basically. There's multiple types of cancers in the brain, but there's two basic types. Um, you have a primary uh, brain tumor, which is formed in the brain with brain cells. And you have a metastasized uh, tumor or cancer that moves from a different part of the body into the brain. Um, and they can kind of affect different things depending on where, if they're a primary cancer or a metastasized cancer in the brain. Um, so if it's a primary, if it's part of the brain itself, then you can, there are some of the symptoms can be seizures, uh, degraded cognitive functions, um, eyesight, things like that. Things that are directly associated to direct brain functions. And you have your spinal cord. Um, if you have a tumor in your spinal cord, it could be anything from uh, loss of motor functions in uh, extremities to paralysis to uh, just limbs going numb, fingers going numb, things like that. Um, if it's in the central nervous system, it could be very similar to the spinal cord, where it's, it's isolating uh, feedback from the nerves in a body part. So your survival rate for brain cancer is broke down into two basic groups from what I can find. Um, you have your under 15 year old age range and then your over 15 year old age range. Your five year survival rate for over 15 is around 36% and your 10 year um, for over 15 is around 31%. People under the age of 15 have a uh, relatively high survival rate. Um, their five-year survival rate for under 15 is like 74%. They didn't have any data on 10-year, but I'm guessing it probably either stays the same or changes very slightly. Um, annually, in the United States, approximately 190,000 people are diagnosed with some form of brain cancer. Um, I mean, with a 31% survival rate, that's that's not. It doesn't sound good, but in reality, I think it is pretty good. Um, current research is there's a lot of current research, but nobody really gets into actual um, breaking down of the the research. Cancer uh, Treatment Centers of America takes a multi prong approach to all of their research and they it just flat out says on their website that they recommend anybody diagnosed with cancer sign up for any of the trials um for multiple reasons the, the more people they get into the trials the more results they can have but it also cuts the cost of the patient um for treating their cancer uh, on a personal side i've known i had a great aunt that um, passed from brain cancer, um, and it was it was pretty hard to watch. Um, but I've had a lot of other people in my family with a lot of different types of cancer. My mom passed from lung cancer. I had a niece that was born with leukemia. Um, she passed uh, right around six months, and my oldest boy had a form of Burkitt's lymphoma, which created a tumor in his stomach. But we signed him up for um, trials, and it cut the cost, and it was very successful. They, most trials are more than just a approach. They're more of a multi-pronged approach, and it, it worked really well for him. But cancer is one of those things that I don't really know if you can 
say, well, I'm, I'm too healthy to get it because I've known extremely healthy people with it. But I've known incredibly unhealthy people who walk right through it. But that's all I got. Sorry this is late. I've had a crazy week. Um, see you later.